Our first guest found herself in an unexpected situation when her father's health took a turn and she gave up what many in Hollywood consider a dream job on the hit TV show Community to focus on caring for her dad. Since then, she starred in movies like Lady and the Tramp, the sitcom Mom, and her new show on Disney Plus, Big Shot. Please welcome someone I just adore so much, Yvette Nicole Brown from her home in Los Angeles. Hey, fam. What's hey going fam, on? Hey, fam. How you doing? I'm good. I think the last time we saw each other was on a Zoom celebrating Joanne Joy Reed yep. getting her spot on MSNBC. That's you fit so perfectly in this show because family is obviously friends who are like family, and mm -hmm. then those that we are born to our connection. Your story with your dad and walking away from community to care for Dad Omar, mm -hmm. who was suffering from dementia. Take me to that 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 critical moment of family and career. You know, it's funny to me, um, and I know you share this feeling, um, family's everything. And uh, I would not be the person I am without my dad and without my mom. And to choose money or what some would be perceived as fame over caring for him was something I just could not do. So it was the easiest decision I've ever made. And thankfully, Sony and Dan Harmon, the creator of our show, was kind enough to to release me so that I could care for him. And um, I thank them to this day for that. And I've had him with me eight years now. Oh. And you know, every day is different. Dementia is very unwieldy, but um, he's a joy. Yeah. He's the joy of my life, and it is an honor to be the caretaker of his memories. That's the what way I look at it. What a handsome, beautiful dad. And you he know? cute. He looks like, he's like an old John Legend. He does look like John <laughs> I love that. Listen, your dad does look like John Legend, for like real. Legend. John Legend even agrees. I, I sent a picture to John. He was like, he, he does look like me. <laughs> With the career decision, though, that was also a financial. I mean, listen, you, yes, famous on Community, this huge show. But now you're also walking away from your income to mm -hmm. take care of your dad. Were you worried that, oh, my gosh, financially? And also, will I be able to return to this one day? No, I wasn't worried about it because I'm from East Cleveland, so I'm frugal. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I believe in living below my means. I shop at this shirt right here is from Target. The, the the dress I wore to the premiere of Big Shot was a Target dress for $11.90. I believe in saving my dollars and using it for stuff that matters, you know, which is care for my father. And the other thing is, you know, I've never been into fame and notoriety and that kind of stuff. And I've had a good run, Tamron. If, if, if I left community and never was seen again, there was nothing I could complain about. I, I was on a show. I I've done commercials. I've had a very rich, beautiful career. So it, it, none of that was a concern for me. It was like, I had to care of my dad. I got to do what yeah. it takes. That's that life owes me nothing mentality. Because That's right. you had enjoyed it and you are enjoying it on many yes. different levels. You know, I think it actually, your being so open about that decision made people just love you anymore. So many people um, are now dealing with, especially I'm 50, they're dealing with the fact that, will I care for my parent? Will that time come? That's a and we've yeah. talked about even doing a show on it because mm -hmm. it is so relatable caring for a parent at some point in time and being able to do that. Exactly, because we we know that no one's going to love our love our loved one the way we will. And I watched a, a a show on Netflix that scared me. I won't even say the name of it, but it was about caregivers and this whole s system that's set up to if you don't have someone that's watching out for you, you can really be harmed. And I can't do that. And we we as a people can't do that. We we hold on to our people. So it's you, you bring them home. Yeah. Bring them in, give them a room, and and give them some applesauce and, and a piece of piece of meat every now and again to make sure they stay alive. <laughs> Omar's like, can you please cook for me? Don't just give me a piece of meat here. <laughs> you know, know, piece of meat. Listen, so you, want a piece of meat. <laughs> you took this break, and as the universe yeah. has done so beautifully for you, it's kept you on TV and kept us, you know, kept us watching you. You've got this new show, Big mm -hmm. Shot, with John Stamos, and again, going back to our our, our storyline here for the show today, you are kind of a surrogate mother figure for a lot of the people on the cast. Yeah, I love that you said the people because some would think I was the surrogate mother just for the young women on the show, <laughs> but I'm a surrogate mother for John Stamos too on the show. The show is about second chances and forgiveness and um, owning your voice. And it's told through the the experience of these wonderful young athletes, this basketball team at Westbrook School for Girls. And I play the, the headmistress and my job is to make sure that no one harms these young women as they become who they're going to be. And, you know, in the beginning of the show, I got my eye on John Stamos. I'm like, come in here, run roughshod over these children now. <laughs> so it's a very, it's I believe that the character is loving. She's tough, but she's also loving. And um, 
you know, it's it's a show for everyone, yeah. Tamara. Everyone that I've talked to that's seen it, it's men, women, uh, young people, old people. Everyone can find a reason to enjoy this we show. And it makes me very, we actually have a clip. Let's play it. I'll go. I told you one thing. Do not screw this up. She disrespected me. In fact, they all did. You had to anticipate that they would test you. You had to anticipate that I'd make one of them an example. So you made one of the star player, the one who's father. I don't care who her father is. I do. I believe I made that clear. I pick and choose my players. Louise is suspended until further notice. My notice. Look at me, Corn. This is not a good start. Okay, Sherilyn scares me. Your your character is no joke. Yes. That's intense. You know, it's, this is what's funny, too. You know, many, many a year I dreamed of being face-to-face, nose-to-nose with John Stamos, and I finally get my moment, and I'm yelling at him. I'm like, you can't get a little smooth. <laughs> so he was one, right, of your right crushes, he, one of your crushes back in the day? You know, I, I allegedly am old enough to have watched him on Blackie, uh, on, on General Hospital <laughs> yes, as, Blackie, as Blackie. So, right. yes, I have. I've loved his sweet little face forever. And this is the thing about John Stamos, people don't know, as beautiful as he is to look at, his heart is as beautiful. Right. So it's a it's a joy to have to be on set with him every day. And um, the way he takes care of all of us and Jessalyn and Richard, our yeah. other castmates, and Sophia and all the girls on the show, he's just really just Aww. a lovely man. That is so sweet. You know, like, you, funny, you brought that memory back of Blackie. That is, I used <laughs> to love that character. But yep. so you had a crush on Blackie, as I did, that character. Mm-hmm. I need to understand, we share a friend, and actually he's been on the show, Chris Evans, yes. That is my friend, too. <laughs> mine, too, yeah. yes. Okay, your friendship with him is a little different than mine. You are Twitter boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend. But now I hear that Lizzo is his side but, girlfriend on mm-mm. TikTok. What, what is going mm-mm. on between you, Chris, mm-mm. and Lizzo? I, I, I need some clarity. This is the first thing. First of all, it, it is it is a, a relationship that has been confirmed on both sides. So this is not me with some unrequited Twitter crush. He is my Twitter boyfriend. It is done. Because he's, now, he tweeted back to you saying it's yeah, a confirmed... We, we, I saw the tweet. I saw buddies. it. We, we DM, we text, we're buddies. Now, it's only on Twitter. So I have no say over who his other girlfriends are. He can have a TikTok girlfriend or Instagram girlfriend, but don't come for Twitter. I just hold my territory on Twitter. So I got an eye on Lizzo. Now, she can have him at TikTok. But Twitter and part of Instagram is mine. That's all I'm saying. Okay, why not? You don't want to be his girlfriend on all social media platforms? I'm not greedy. Twitter's <laughs> enough. Twitter, Twitter is huge, too. Like, there's a lot of people coming for me trying to get my spot. Twitter's enough. And let me say this, talking about wonderful men, we joke, but Chris Evans is a, an amazing human being. He is human an being. amazing you know human being. He's a lovely person, and he's he's a good he's a good sport. So he plays along with all of my silliness online. But he is my Twitter boyfriend. I love it. You know what? We love you. Give Omar, you. aka John Legend, our best. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you soon. Maybe on the next Zoom party that we all yes, have together. Man. All right. Good All luck right. with that rice you were making. All right, I was cooking. Yeah. Oh, and I burned my rice. If <laughs> she was all I burned my rice on our party. Yvette, I love you so much. Big Shot is streaming now on Disney Plus.